I just said it was in the afternoon. Why am I saying it's in the morning? So I have gotten a really large, blah, 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 really late stayed. I can't even speak right. I think I might be better off just not talking. No, but in all honesty, I have gotten a late start in the day today. I stayed up really late. I went to bed after midnight, and then I was talking to my boyfriend this morning, and then I went back to bed like after 8 and got up around 11. And I'm just now eating for the first time today. I know there's like this long gap between 11 and 2.30. I basically spent the day cleaning and doing my laundry. I washed my backpack. Let's see how long have I had that backpack? I haven't washed it in over a year. I was, I was a lot of like train tickets, old receipts and whatnot. I just had to go through it and throw a lot of stuff away. I spent time just kind of cleaning up my room, going through stuff because I will be leaving this week. I will be flying back to the States this Friday. Also just kind of getting mentally prepared. Maybe I got a little bit distracted on the internet, but if it doesn't rain, I might try to get out and go on a walk, but I don't know. We'll see. Tomorrow I actually plan on going to Luzern to meet up with a friend, which I'm really, really excited about. It's unfortunate that I haven't gotten to see her all this time, and it's like right before I'm leaving. We just don't see each other that often. That's what happens when you live in two different countries, like 9,000 miles apart. Yikes. I leave for a minute and this is what happens. Oh no. Darn it. Oh well. I don't have a grater so that's why I have to use a potato peeler. Oh that's smoke. I have to open up a window. There. That should be better. Uh, this is so hard. I'm kind of trying to use up the sweet potato I have. I have one more after this. I know that if I leave the sweet potato for my host to eat, they're not going to eat the sweet potato. Which is no problem because sweet potato is like my favorite food ever. I can't get enough of it. Okay, I think this is good enough. It's so bad. Look at how sad this looks. Literally the saddest thing. Man. Oh. Really, Jennifer? Uh, it's a good thing I swept though a little bit. I'm not gonna do the same thing this time. My plate looks like a burnt mess. Oh, it feels so good to have put something in my stomach and to have eaten. Guys, I have these annoying parakeets. Well, I hope the neighbor doesn't see me. I don't know, I feel like everybody kind of watches everybody and it'd be really weird if somebody caught me filming somebody else's balcony, but she like forgot to uncover her birds too. Poor things. So I actually have really nowhere to prop my camera because I don't have a tripod. I used to have one, but like I left it back at home. Being that I'm gonna be leaving soon, I really wanted to just kind of share a little bit of my experience that I had also with herding cows the other week with, what was that? I heard something. Yeah, so I got to experience herding cows in Switzerland, which was a really unique experience for me being like not Swiss. I just, that was probably one of the most funnest, best days I've ever had. Be <sighs> that was freaking weird. I don't remember calling Siri's name. So anyways, my friend that I'm staying with, she just asked me if I wanted to help with the cows. And I was like, yeah, sure. And she was a little concerned that I would actually be afraid of cows, which I wasn't. But I mean, I told her in all honesty, I haven't really had a lot of experience with cows, but I've never been afraid of them. And she would tell me like, oh, they're gonna be running all around you at all sides in front of you. You can't be afraid. You can't be shy or timid basically, which I guess she kind of thinks I'm more of the shy, timid, quiet person. I mean, I can be more I'm just more quiet natured that is true but that doesn't mean like I it doesn't mean like I'm like a little mouse I don't know I just told her I was like I think I'll be fine she's like well maybe we'll just put you like very at the end of the line like very last in line thanks but when we got to the Alp it was like probably about 20 of us there was actually a couple of ladies that wanted to be in the very back of the line because they had a dog and they just felt like it would be easier and I have to say like I said that was just the most fun I ever had. Like I was laughing. It was totally no problem for me to be in the middle of the cows and just like, I don't know, I like cows. Like, <laughs> it was so fun though. And I just couldn't help but feel, man, those birds are just so loud. 
but I just like, I don't know, I just couldn't help but feel like I was super fortunate to get this first-hand experience of like what Swiss people usually do. I'm gonna shut my window because things are just too loud. Probably should have done that to begin with. So we drove about 45 minutes to meet someplace. Once the others arrived, we drove like another half hour or so to the top of this alp called Sardona. It was so beautiful up there. There were a lot of clouds and it was kind of misty, so I couldn't really see the alps like as good as I could have on a clear day. It's like, oh, this is still gorgeous. It's still beautiful. Yeah, We're herding cows <laughs> right now <laughs> out here in the Alps. Cool. Look at this view, guys. So, currently, for the past hour, we've been herding these cows from the Alps Sardosa. We went all the way up north of here and we're leading the cows on this path, the same road that we drove. Hope you can hear me, it's kind of noisy. We're fixing to head through this tunnel. We got a few more cows behind me, but man, this is awesome, guys. <laughs> Gonna go check it out. And look how beautiful this is, guys. We ate ice cream here and we talked for a while, had some coffee and drinks. Look how beautiful this is, though. Probably gonna be getting ready to go soon, though, because the temperature is dropping a little bit and it's starting to rain. But it's been such a fun day. Oh, I just, I love this so much. So we each had like these long staffs. We used this to kind of guide the cows, keep them in line. Not really hit them, but just more like, come on, let's keep going. Because cows, I mean, they're really sweet creatures, but they are not the brightest creatures on earth. If the road curves, they will just kind of like keep going straight sometimes. Just have to kind of be guided. The whole trek took about three hours, but I was really tired afterwards. I think the most challenging part of that was avoiding stepping in all of the cow patties. I had no idea cows pooped a lot and sometimes it'd splatter and I'd be like, ah! But I like, wasn't really too worried about it, but I was just like, it, it just stinks really bad. Cow poop doesn't smell nice. I don't know, it was just really, that was a fun week and I did that um, not this past Friday, but the Friday before. And then, even though I didn't vlog about it, there was the very next day I got to help harvest grapes. I really kind of did work for the same guy I picked blackberries for. After we all finished harvesting grapes together, we met at this lady's house for dinner. And it was really nice because I met this really sweet German lady from Stuttgart and I totally conversed with her in German. She was really curious about my life and just asked me a lot of questions and she told me, she's like, next time you come back to Switzerland and you're staying in Graubünden, she's like, please come and visit me. It was just, she was the sweetest lady. I just, ugh. Again, where I'm just so happy that I get to have this experience because I would not meet such nice 
people. And the highlight of that day was after dinner, these people came and yodeled and just kind of sang some traditional Swiss song. <laughs> catch a part of it on my iPhone but I was like almost moved to tears by their beautiful singing it just it was just really special really special I don't know I just will never forget that day so yeah oy, oy. and then I've just been kind of running around I kind of did a lot of exploring in the Italian part of Switzerland and I went to Zurich I kind of went to Zurich and had a lot of fun there oh and I also went through a thrift store so I didn't really get much at the thrift store. Okay, thrift store shopping in Switzerland is actually really fun. A lot of really great souvenirs there. I went to Coeur, I went to the, what is the name of that thrift store? Rocky, Rocky Grishuna, I think. I think that's the name of it, I hope I'm not wrong. First thing I found, and it was only $14. Is this not beautiful or what? Like, look at the, it has Edelweiss on it, it's just, I looked at it up and down, it's got no stains, it's got these beautiful ties. I tried it on, it fits, but I was like, I'm just super happy with my shirt. I've seen Swiss stuff, like in these souvenir shops, wherever they're so just like super expensive. And then the second thing I found, this cute little train. It's a stuffed train, but it's cool because it has the Graubünden flag right there, or you know, the shield. This was only two dollars. And the last thing I got is this really cute shirt that says Schweiz, um, which is Switzerland and Swiss, or well, in German. I don't know, I just was like, wow. And this one was seven dollars, but it was half off. So it was only like $3.50. I don't know, like I would not have gotten those prices if I had gone in like a souvenir shop or something like that. I recommend going to a thrift store if you have time in Switzerland. It's just a fun experience anyway, just to kind of look around. They have dishes, they have like anything you can think of. Just look for the word brocchi and usually that that's like a thrift store. Like that's just what it's called over here. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. Just like a run through of like what I've been up to the past week or so. This time I'm probably more ready to leave for several reasons and one is, yeah, I do miss my family. I haven't seen my family since March because I worked in Colorado and now I'm over here in Switzerland. So I miss my family. I just kind of miss the States. I don't know, I just kind of want to be back. Honestly, I also just can't wait to see my boyfriend again. Three months, feels like forever since I've seen him. But I get to see him this Saturday. I get to meet his parents. <laughs> But I'm excited because I've never been to Texas before and it should be a great experience. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. If I don't get around to vlogging again, you will see me when I'm in Texas.